Hey everybody, back for another little video tonight. Uh, kind of cool here, central Kentucky is tonight. It's about 26 degrees, I think. And I've uh, been down here in the little garage, messing around. Got a new project going, share with you here. And we do have a fire going here in the in the shop. Peter, oh, we got a nice, nice fire. Look at that. <coughs> I've actually had the blower going. I, I had to unplug it a minute ago because I guess hot in here I had to take my flannel off. So I had to unplug the blower, but it's, man, still piping some heat out. Very nice and toasty in here. So the new project got going here is a, well, I'll just show you here what we got, what we're working with. This might be the easiest way, I think. Got that engine, 429cc Kohler, that I am stripping down. And I should have I should have actually filmed this, but there's a bunch of videos on YouTube on how to do this. I've just drained the oil out earlier and pulled the side cover off and removed the governor gear. It's a little centrifugal nylon gear with a centrifugal weight. It slows the engine down, and I don't know if I threw it in the scrap bucket. I did. Look at there. Yeah, so that runs against the counterbalance shaft and those weights sling out at a certain RPM and slow the engine down to keep it at a safe speed. So we got rid of that crap. Uh, we'll be careful with it. And there's a rod that comes up through here that will, actually this is the rod. That rod runs against that nylon gear somehow and up through here and that'll actually regulate the throttle through through these rod linkages and all that mess. We don't need all that. So I actually tapped that hole out for a 3 8 bolt and put some silicone on the bolt threads and run that thing down tight so that's never gonna be a problem again. And then we've got this oil sensor, took that out as well. And the wire for that, yeah, came right through the side of the block right there. And I actually tapped that out for a half 13 bolt thread silicone that bolt and just tighten her down so that should never leak either just getting rid of the junk we don't really need on this engine because it's going to be replacing the honda the 390 uh, gx 390 honda in here which is a great engine and it's it's ran flawless honestly uh, absolutely flawless in this golf cart but I am going to I'm going to do a little bit of head work uh, porting work on that Kohler Got a leaf. Oh, yeah that's a GX 390 yeah like I said it's it's been a great motor uh, still a great motor nothing wrong with it but when I put it in this golf cart, I did not remove that governor. And I tell you, it's just a pain. It's a pain going down the road, down the side roads, I should say, around here. Um, it's just kind of a pain because if you want to get somewhere quick, it just kind of floats out. And the governor will slow you down and speed back up and slow you back down. It's just a pain. So I'm not going to be racing. <laughs> I'm not going to blow the motor up. Uh, but I am going to try to get some more power out of that thing. Uh, it is a bigger engine by, 
I don't know, what, 40, 30 cc's? That one's a 390, yeah. So, well, 40. Yeah, 40 cc's bigger. Well, cool. Well, that's a little bigger. Uh, I think the frame and everything's basically the same. The bolt pattern's the same on the feet. But I do have a spare head for this puppy that I've kind of got stripped down, get the valves out of. I'm going to do a little port work uh, down in those, down in the intake and exhaust ports there. I'm going to port those out. My, I'm not going to go crazy. I'm just going to kind of smooth everything out a little bit. Uh, like a, like, when I say smooth everything out, I don't know if this is going to focus. But you can see how square those edges are down in there. Let's see. Let me get a valve here. I think, uh, but yeah, there's a pretty good picture of it. See how square that is? I'm going to take a carbide bit on a uh, straight shaft die grinder and just smooth that stuff out nice. Just round that out to where it's smooth. Where I got the valves and the seals and the springs out of. So yeah, I'm gonna do a little work on that, and then I'll uh, when I get it done, just bolt it, bolt it down on this engine. That'll work out good. And I, I'm I'm torn about I'm torn about this starter on the Honda. When I put it in, I took this off, made a little block off plate. Uh, and I just used the starter generator that was original to the golf cart to start it and to charge actually the battery. I'm torn. I'm torn on the, whether to leave that on or, or take it off. I don't know. I may end up leaving it on there even if I don't use it. But the reason I'm doing this rather than just well, let me back up. I'm going to have that engine just completely ready to go. Ready to bolt in, drop in before I pull that one out. Because I use this thing, when I say every day, literally, I mean I use this thing every day. And uh, I just don't want to be without it, especially in the winter right now. When I'm, you know, I'll bring a little wagon load of wood up here and Keep in the garage. I'll burn that in here and also burn it right in there on that big red monster in the basement of the house. So, you know, I just can't do without it too long. I could, but I don't want to because I'm getting old and lazy. So that's kind of what we're doing here. Just a quick little update on the on the old golf cart. Oh man, I'm about out of peanuts. That's the best snack to have. I'm almost out. It's all right. There's a spare head gasket. I think that was that was with that head. So yeah, that's good. Never hurts to have a spare, huh? So that's kind of where we're at here. Just a little, little update on the, what I got going on with the golf cart. So we're going to do a little engine upgrade. It's going to be fun. I think it's going to probably haul butt. I mean, it, it, it hauls butt now. It's just that when you're at wide open throttle, it kind of, it's just annoying. Uh, did put some LED headlights on this thing and dang, they're bright. Man, they're super bright. And those are just El Cheapos. I, I don't know. I think it was 12 bucks for that set. Just those two LEDs, like 12 bucks. Golly. I had some little halogens on the front. Uh, and they were, they were like yellow and really dim. And it's like, man, them things just lighted up like crazy. And, uh. Uh, this thing has still got a stock front suspension except for those lift spindles. 
like a three inch lift spindle. I just did that so I could put the bigger, but something is bent in the front of this thing from an accident that uh, somebody had here on the property. Somebody was going a little fast and ran one side. I think it might have been this side. No, ran that side tire into a gate that was open. And when I say a gate, I mean the actual end of the gate. <laughs> Not the flat of the gate, the end of the gate. And uh, something's bent. Something is bent. And I cannot figure out what it is. And I'm thinking I'm just going to rip that whole front end out and order a independent, uh, like an A-arm type suspension you can get for these things. It just bolts right up. And uh, I think I'm going to order me one of them and put in there with a four inch probably or maybe a six inch lift and uh, hopefully take care of that because something is definitely bent back and uh, I almost think the leaf spring might be bent but I'm not sure anyway I think I'm just gonna remove that whole mess and put a whole new front end on it because like I said I do use it every day I think that'd be the best thing to do. So yeah, uh, down here, down here messing around, man, I've got a, <laughs> I've got a grill thermometer that goes to 500 degrees and this thing's got a probe on it, maybe three inches long and it's right on top of one of my, let's see, it's right on top of that biggest heat tube, uh, blower tube. You know, it's not touching it, but it's just kind of right on top of it. And it's already wrapped around. It's like, I don't know, what would you call that? 600 plus? I'm sure it probably as far as it would go. So it could be hotter than that. I don't know. So yeah. I mean, it's hot, man. That thing will put the heat out. I've only got like two sticks of wood in there. Man, that thing burns great burns awesome for a homemade stove what are you talking about it's amazing love it so yeah i mean you, you plug the blower in and it's like guys i ain't got nothing fancy going on here look it's a little 110 blower and it's got a dang cord on it I mean, I plug it in and I unplug it. Ain't nothing fancy. But man, I'm telling you, it heats this little little garage up like you would not believe. And it don't really matter how cold it is outside. It'll heat it up in here like you would not believe. And it's this is not insulated. Well, I, I take that back. That wall's insulated. That wall's insulated. And that wall's concrete block. That wall's concrete block. But the ceiling is just, I mean, it's just rafters. It's not insulated on the top. I wish it was. It'd be nice, but maybe one of these days. But, yeah. Just a little update. Uh, what's going on here? Around the old Kentucky stead. Uh, Y'all hit that subscribe button there. And keep on watching. I appreciate it. And until next time, Kentucky Stead out.